Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all participants and colleagues of this symposium on in-situ coconut conservation. I have the honor of starting the lectures by talking about the cogent strategy and the cogent germplasm catalogues. I will first introduce the cogent network, then I will talk about the design and contents of its global strategy. Finally, I will present the germplasm catalogues and their recent evolution. The International Coconut Genetic Resources Network was created in 1991. Today in 2023, the network is hosted by the international coconut community and gathers 39 members countries representing 95% of the global coconut production. There are 24 national coconut field gene banks of which five with international status. Those are located in Brazil, Côte d'Ivoire, India, Indonesia, and Papua New Guinea. This diagram seems a little complicated, but its purpose is simple. We represented the various stakeholders, with coconut users, farmers and industry, and, some institutions involved in coconut research. All participated in the development of the global strategy. At the cogent level, there is a steering committee, a secretariat with a coordinator, regional networks and scientific groups called ITAGs, International Thematic Action Group. The most important about this scheme is its end goal. It is about developing and obtaining funding for international projects addressing the priorities defined by the Cogent Network. In 2012, Cogent had a request from funding institutions to update the previous strategy, that was quite basic. They told, no large projects will be funded until a new, clear and agreed strategy will be endorsed. Contribution was made on a voluntary basis, among Cogent, the Coconut Google Group and international experts, farmers and the industry. Each of the 132 sections of the strategy was preferably authored by three contributors from three different regions, Africa and Indian Ocean, America, Pacific Region, South Asia, Southeast Asia. One senior contributor from Cogent countries serves as leader of each of the chapters. It was a long battle, with Bioversity International, for each section to remain authored, this is useful for communication and commitment. On the website coconutmuseum.org you will find the complete references of all the section of this strategy. The complete document can be downloaded. It is also available on Cogent and Bioversity websites. Compiling this global strategy provided an extraordinary tool for strengthening relationships between cogent researchers and between cogent and other coconut stakeholders. We created 434 interactions, that means people publishing a section together, among about 90 authors from more than 20 countries. This slide shows the diversity of authors of the strategy. Blue is the color of the Pacific region, and the first chapter was led by Dr. Valerie Tuia from Samoa. Orange is the color chosen for America and the Caribbean, and Dr. Semiramos Ramos from Brazil led the second chapter. Pink is the color of South Asia, and the third chapter was led by Dr. Lilith Pereira from Sri Lanka. Many recommendations from the strategy will be used and presented during the sessions of this meeting. Green is the chosen color for Africa, and Dr. Kuasi Alou from Côte d'Ivoire, West Africa led the fourth chapter titled, Our Plan for the Next Decade. In October 2013, the complete draft of the first three chapters was sent to Bioversity. It was then reviewed simultaneously by a panel of six reviewers, of which three international and three more from Bioversity. In November 2013, after integrating their comments, the text was ready. I sent it back to Bioversity International. The publication of these three chapters was then delayed by five years, until 2018. This was when Dr. Prades from CIRAD was coordinating Cogent. Chapter 4, the preliminary version of which has been submitted since the beginning of 2014, 
is still to be published in 2023. The idea of publishing an illustrated coconut germplasm catalogue first presented by R. Bordykes in 1993 to the Cogent Steering Committee. A book was published by R. Bordykes and Al. in 2005, with only varieties conserved in the African coconut gene bank. In 2010, the Cogent catalogue was published with more than 50 participating authors from 20 countries. On the web. The catalog is divided into several files, one or more per country. This option was chosen because the files contain a lot of images and are large, difficult to download all at once. Note that, both on the old and the new Cogent websites, there are omissions. For example, Sri Lanka is not accessible although there are several varieties from this country in the catalog. This will need to be corrected. Those who participate in the field trainings will receive a USB key with the complete document in a single file. Here is an example of a description of a variety in the Cogent catalog. There is a text limited to one page, with standard sections, and a one-page picture plate with six to seven standardized pictures. This is the Rennell Island Tall, a famous variety from the Solomon Islands. The procedure for making good coconut pictures is as difficult as a complex laboratory protocol. Illustrated guidelines were conceived and sent to participating members. They are now available online as Annex 2 of the catalog. This will be taught during the field sessions. In 2022, Dr. Bordykes changed the design of the catalog to make it more attractive and informative. The principle of the catalog remains the same with standard illustrated text and plates. However, the text may, if necessary, greatly exceed one page. In addition, full-page or half-page photographs are added to illustrate the varieties, making the book much more attractive. Palm trees are photographed with local people when available. This new type of catalog is more suitable for users. It had a very strong impact. This should be done in many countries. Here is an example of the new design, with a very special snake, compact green dwarf, which curves genetically and naturally. The text is about one and half page, with two large pictures added, so four pages for describing a single variety. Here are the pages three and four for this variety, with a full page picture showing both people in palm, and the standardized picture plate. Here are two examples of posters that come directly from the cataloging work. On the left, we see the poster for French Polynesia. This poster was widely distributed in most town halls and schools in the country, and in particular in those of the 80 islands and atolls of the Tuamotu archipelago. On the right is the poster for New Caledonia, a territory whose catalog is not yet completely finished. These posters play an absolutely crucial role in helping people become aware of the diversity of the coconut palm, the beauty of that diversity, and the many uses of the coconut palm. In my opinion, this type of posters and catalogues should be prepared for all coconut producing countries. Dear colleagues and participants, thank you for your attention to this brief presentation. These topics will be further discussed in the field training sessions. This presentation is also available with a French translation on our website coconuseum.org.